In this video, I'm looking at the BGVP Melody in ear monitors. Let's get it. What's cracking, audio fans? It's David here from Prime Audio Reviews. That is the box for the Melody, and uh, yeah, it's actually quite a nice unboxing. Inside, you get a few things. First of all, you get you get this massive case, but it's a nice case. It's super white as well, but that is pretty nice. We've got some tidbits in there, um, and obviously you get the IMs, which I'll put here. And you also get some tuning filters, which are here, and finally some uh, yeah terminations because this is a modular cable. Very handy, very simple. It's similar to the wrapped go hook X cable. Well, the, I mean the, the mechanism there. The termination for the 4.4 millimeter is quite long. Well, they all are a little bit long, but that's not much of a big deal. I like this cable. It's pretty nice. Lovely silver or gray color. Nice and supple. Feels good. Uh, yeah, very nice cable, but let's see if I can take that off. I want to show you these IMs because Rah, Got it. Okay, because there they are And these are quite pretty I like them They're pretty exquisite shells in my opinion. They've got this nice faceted faceplates there with the BGVP logo color-coded for right and left and let's have a look at these uh, tuning filters. Oh, by the way, the price of the Melody here is $119 and they have a single 12 millimeter dynamic driver. So yeah, I want to show you these filters. They unscrew just like that and then you can change them out with the other ones here. Now we've got, by default, when they come out of the box, they've got the balanced filters on. At the moment, I've got the hi-fi filter and there's also a pop or a bass filter. And you can pretty much guess what they do. A little bit extra bass, a little bit uh, less upper mid-range. The balanced is, oh, it's, a, it's a bit nasty. It's rather unpleasant. Cuts out the bass a lot and it uh, raises the upper mid-range. And then finally, the hi-fi has got the same, roughly the same level of bass as the red filter. But it also adds just a little bit of extra in the upper mids and the lower treble as well. So the hi-fi one is the most dynamic sound. Um, I probably prefer the red one myself. I find the other two to be shouty. Well, particularly the, the balanced ones, I just do not like that. Far too dry and bright and shouty for me. But uh, you got to be careful not to mix them up because one is silver and one is rose gold. It's almost as if someone was playing a joke on us. In fact, I think they had a meeting about it. All right, guys, so the BGVP Melody, it's almost ready. We spent a long time. We spent a lot of blood, sweat and tears. Well, your blood, sweat and tears, not mine. That's why I'm the boss. The tuning's complete. It's perfect. It's a perfect earphone. The only thing that we have to figure out now is what color to make the filters. Anyone have any suggestions? Uh, boss, I've, I've got a suggestion. And what might that be, Farnsworth? Speak up, we haven't got all day. Well, boss, w what if we make a red one for the pop filter or the bass filter? And we'll make silver for the hi-fi filters. And we'll make the balance filters almost silver with just a tiny hint of rose gold. Is there a point to this, Farnsworth? What What are you thinking? Why would you do that? Well, boss, can you just imagine if people got their filters mixed up and they didn't know which one was which? <laughs> Farnsworth, you're an idiot. I don't even like you. You're like a rat. You scurry around in the dark and you smell like cheese. I don't know why we even hide you in the first place. But you know what? This idea of yours, imagine those fools getting confused over which filter they're using. <laughs> <laughs>
you know what? I like it. Jennifer, call accounting. Tell them that I've just given Farnworth a raise. All right, I was just having a bit of fun there. The, the filter situation is quite all right. I actually got caught myself trying to figure out which was which in, in low lighting. And uh, that's where I came up with that idea. But, um, you know, as long as you're aware of it, it shouldn't be a problem. But in reality, uh, I think most people would only use either the pop or the hi-fi filters. The balance one just is not very nice. But let's talk about the sound and I'll throw up the graph here. And there you can see it. So that black line is the balance filter. The red one is the pop filter and the green one is the hi-fi filter. And I'm going to talk about, you know, the pop and the hi-fi one together because they're very, they're very similar. So it's a, it's a V-shaped signature with an emphasis on the upper mid range and the, and the lower treble. The, the bass is fairly healthy. It's pretty nice. It's got a bit of a pretty good sub bass rumble, a nice bit of mid bass punch going on. Uh, it's not too scooped out, so you do get a you do get to hear a bit of bass guitar and whatnot. It's it's not soulless, like uh, some recent IEMs have been. But the mids, as a result, are somewhat recessed, but they're pretty good. The clarity is not too bad. Like I was saying with the balance filters, uh, there's not enough bass there to counterbalance the upper mids, and it ends up being quite shouty rather dry and just um not much fun at all at least for me but the other ones uh the other two filters are pretty good the mid-range sounds quite good clarity articulation um resolution is i'd say it's pretty good and detail retrieval is quite good as well even with the red filters it's the detail retrieval is pretty good and then there is the treble and the treble is pretty unremarkable really it's uh doesn't get in the way too much though i will say that there's a peak at 5 kilohertz, and if you are sensitive to that area, then these are going to give you some trouble because it is quite prominent and it is up there. There is a little bit of sibilance here and there sometimes, but not too much. Pretty average in dimensions, fairly well rounded in shape, width and depth are similar. Uh, it's not a really holographic soundstage. The imaging is pretty good, but the overall resolution is just kind of average. So um, yeah, overall average is kind of the word I would use to describe the sound overall. Not good, not bad, but just average. Uh, I, I think for this price, you probably want to spend a little bit more maybe and go for something like the Let Shower S12 or for that matter, the Let Shower D13, I think is a, a better IEM than these. Well, but that's just my subjective opinion. I mean, I do really like these shells. They're they're really gorgeous. And that cable is lovely as well. It's nice to see a modular cable at that somewhat lower price point. I know pro probably few people are thinking, you know, how does it compare to the Moondrop Stellaris? Well, I still haven't opened the box yet and I probably won't for a while because I'm catching a flight to Australia in a couple of days. I don't have time to get into all that stuff now so that'll have to wait until the end of the month i'm afraid but anyway that is the bgvp melody not a bad one if you like the design give it a go uh you probably be happy with it as long as you stick with the red or the silver filters not the silvery rose gold ones and uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. So thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, Parfam audio file style. And if you are new to the channel and you want to see more content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you later.